Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and today, now that I've finally got my Ender 3 working, my thoughts turn to making it work a bit better and look a bit more pretty. Yes indeed, it's the inevitable Ender 3 upgrade video. Just about everybody I watch who does 3D printing on YouTube, um, especially if they've got an Ender 3, they always end up doing an upgrade video because there's just such a lot that uh, could be better, shall we say, diplomatically. Um, I mean, a lot of it is total crap. And so, yeah, uh, I've already done significant upgrades. I've got a new motherboard, I've got a new hot end, I've got a new Bowden tube, um, I've got a new limit switch, I've got, you know, but these are all connected with me breaking it in the first place. And today I'm going to do things that aren't actually broken, but certainly can be improved. So I'm doing seven upgrades today, all but one of them are 3D printed. Some of them are just straight lifts from Thingiverse, some of them are modified a bit, and a few of them are my own designs, and I'll put those on Thingiverse so you can borrow those if you want. But the one that isn't 3D printed is a magnetic um, print bed thing, which uh, I bought and it cost about £10. Um, and it is sorely needed. Look at the state of this old print bed. It's disgusting. And also these these little clips that hold it on. I'm always dropping them, losing them, and you know they get in the way. So they're gone. So just lift off the old print bed, which is <laughs> shocking. All right, I think I'll uh, I'll give this a good clean with. IPA before I do anything else. That's better. Now the magnetic bed comes in two parts. There's uh, the top actual printing surface and the bottom magnetic surface which has uh, adhesive on the back so we need to glue it to the aluminium base. Hopefully We'll get it nice and straight. Looks pretty good to me. And then the top bit will just plop on there. So that's upgrade one. Yeehaw! Now the next one is the cable reel holder. Or not all of it, just this this nut on the end, which um, basically when you've got a fat spool like this that takes up the, the full width or length of the, the centre rod and there, there's nothing to stop it falling off and uh, you know there's evidence of one time where it did fall off. So I'm getting rid of that and replacing it with a 3D printed one which I got from Thingiverse. I've modded it a bit, I've added a flange just to just to give us a bit more grip. <laughs> and I printed this at uh, 0.1 layer height so you know it's 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 quite fine for the uh, the thread. There we go. And there will be a further enhancement to that at some point in the future, but not now. So we can just um, whiz the spool over there, and there you can see the flange will stop it falling off. So that's a bit lovely. The next one is also related to filament, is uh, the filament guide. And I haven't changed this at all, so you just have this end cap here that you need to remove and replace with a new end cap that slots into these grooves. Bit tight. <laughs> and then the second part is the arm which then slots into there. Like that. And then your filament this has got a bit twisted, but um, 
there's a little gap in this loop that you can pop your filament into and then that keeps the filament uh, at a nice angle so it doesn't get tangled up around there. The next one is pretty essential I think it's uh, a fan cover because this little bit of uh, nonsense is ridiculous the number of times I've been pulling little bits of filament out of there you wouldn't believe it and and also in the these V slots these get clagged up with rubbish as well so my solution which I've designed just fits over there and, and covers those but before I take this off I'm, I'm just going to get rid of these uh, these stickers because they really get on my nerves and they serve no purpose so this is my fan cover it just sits over the uh, existing one but um, you see this little rotunda with um, a million little holes around the edge so it's quite slimline I've seen a lot of these things that look like the air intakes of jet aircraft which is good but not what I wanted and what I'm going to need to do is remove these screws and replace them with slightly longer ones um, which uh, will give us enough grip into the, the lug under there without us having to do a million turns and because these are really these screws are longer than they, longer than they need to be I had to build these little cones as uh, kind of spacers and also I don't know if you can see there I've printed two words uh, tight and loose and these refer to the uh, the little adjustment wheels for, for the um, bed leveling because I can never remember which way to turn it and if, if you look at the wheels closely you can see they say up and down which means nothing to me at all what I what I need to know is which way will make it tighter which way will make it looser so that's a win for me right so I just need to take these screws out and I did ta I did toy with the idea of removing the fan from from this plate but um, it's just too much too much faff and it's actually a bit doubtful about well I know it goes round I've seen it go round but um, <laughs> I don't actually know how how much heat this board generates um, I wouldn't think it would be that much so there we go um, now I've got a plan to do something about this as well because that's the S micro SD card slot which is in a ludicrous position and this is the mini USB uh, plug um, so I want to build build out this a bit with and get some extension thingies so they'll plug into the top or something but um, well I have ordered them they're on a slow boat from China so I should have them in about six weeks okay next one this is the thing that I have hated about the Ender 3 since the first day I got it it's this um, open exposed bit of circuit board behind the LCD display now I'm sure it's perfectly safe you know you're operating at low voltage and there's nothing exposed that's going to give you a shock nevertheless it feels bad and you know there's some fairly sharp bits of solder around there so I printed this cover for it this this is again it's a straight lift from the internet oh he's put his name on it that's good the deathpom.com so that just fits behind and covers all the gubbins but to fit it you need to remove the display panel and that's just these two screws here right and to fit it I'm gonna have to remove these four screws and probably replace them with longer ones I hope I've got some so they're M3 but uh, yeah they're, they're the same as the ones that, that hold, were holding on the um, control box cover right there's uh, a slight misalignment of the holes so I would have to reprint this move the holes and reprint it 
but I think for now I'll just stick it on with blue tack. Okay, so I, I screwed the PCB back on and this is just stuck on with blue tack over it, uh, which actually might work as a long-term solution, but um, we'll see. Anyway, and then the next one is this, uh, this hole here, which it, it, it just makes the thing look unfinished and also this damn ribbon cable. I hate that. <laughs> I really, really kind of irritates me. But um, so there are clips on Thingiverse that will hold that in place, but hopefully I can get away without doing that by just slamming this uh, little tool tray in. And there's lots of designs for tool trays also. But this is mine own. It's very clever if you can get it in. Now, I've done this before. I can't remember how. <laughs> We're having a moment of embarrassment. Well, super embarrassment in fact, because I've uh, broken this hook. <laughs> but basically, if you gently ease it down, not brutally like what I did, then you can get your get those those two hooks in there, the ones at the back in there, and the taller ones in there. Okay, not perfect, but um, somewhere to put your scraper and your snipper, because you always need to know where they are. Right, the final one. This is my favourite, and uh, I designed it myself. Uh, this wee knobby really annoys me sometimes. Say you want to um, heat the nozzle because you want to change some filament. So what we want to do is temperature, nozzle, watch this. I wanna, I'm want i going to set it for 215. Took a long time that didn't it so let's switch it off and reset it and pull the knob off it just pulls off and replace it with this one here and so Control, temperature, nozzle, mm. there you go, much much quicker and a lot of fun as well, so that's my, that is my favourite thing, uh, what do I call it, the common knob, um, or the lever knob, I don't know, or finger knob it's all rude so there we are seven fancy upgrades and there will be upgrades to these upgrades coming up sometime in the future and other ones as well so uh, that was a bit of fun I hope you enjoyed it I did if you did enjoy it give it a like share subscribe etc I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers which will then enable me to monetize this channel and hopefully make a few pennies out of it. So if you've not subscribed, please do so. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time with more exciting adventures in the shed.